Welcome to your daily devotional reading from the book My Life Today. Month of November, a victorious life. November 21st, none greater than John the Baptist. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Matthew 11, verse 11 The tall reeds that grew beside the Jordan, bending before every breeze, were fitting representatives of the rabbis who had stood as critics and judges of the Baptist mission. They were swayed this way and that by the winds of popular opinion. They would not humble themselves to receive the heart-searching message of the Baptist, yet, for fear of the people, they dared not openly oppose his work. But God's messenger was of no such craven spirit. The multitude who were gathered about Christ had been witnesses to the work of John. They had heard his fearless rebuke of sin. To the self-righteous Pharisees, the priestly Sadducees, King Herod and his court, princes and soldiers, publicans and peasants, John had spoken with equal plainness. He was no trembling reed, swayed by the winds of human praise or prejudice. In the prison, he was the same in his loyalty to God and his zeal for righteousness as when he preached God's message in the wilderness. In his faithfulness to principle, he was as firm as a rock. In the announcement to Zechariah before the birth of John, the angel had declared, He shall be great in the sight of the Lord. In the estimation of heaven, what is it that constitutes greatness? Not that which the world accounts greatness. It is a moral worth that God values. Love and purity are the attributes he prizes most. John was great in the sight of the Lord when before the messengers from the Sanhedrin, before the people, and before his own disciples, he refrained from seeking honor for himself, but pointed out to Jesus as the promised one. His unselfish joy in the ministry of Christ presents the highest type of nobility ever revealed in man. A Victorious Life, November 21st